Hey, so this is uh, an introduction video, a very low effort one, no hand drawings this time, simply because I gave a talk recently at a graduate seminar and I thought I'd film it and put it up online uh, rather than writing a blog post about it or anything because I already had the slideshow. So the talk was about connections and curvature. And uh, sorry, as you can see here, I've gone for a PowerPoint with lots of fun transitions, but that's just for this video, don't worry, not in any of the others. But the point of view that I tried to take was I, I personally am not, I'm really actually pretty terrible at differential geometry. It's one of those things that I read the book thousands of times and it never really sticks. So I wanted to try to explore what connections and curvature mean without having to resort to differential geometric notation and language. So that's really the aim of this talk is to go through some examples. There are lots of different notions of connections on a bundle. So there's a book by Stephen Bruce Sontz, which I'll talk about in a bit, called Principal Bundles. And in there he says that uh, there's this quote and he says that there's a, there's a, there are a lot of things called connections and they're kind of subtly different but somehow equivalent and the words sort of overloaded in some sense so it can be quite confusing to figure out what they mean but they all kind of have the a similar motivation behind them and something that we can study once we've formalized what the idea of a connection is is the curvature of a connection uh, and it's something we can also explore using these examples um, so we're gonna take a look at three examples basically um, kind of three different areas of mathematics one of them is very short one of them is very long one of them is somewhere in the middle and we're going to try to understand what connections and curvature are without really talking about differential geometry it's important to note that i mean there are a lot of things i won't talk about because this is meant to be a short series of videos most notably i'm not going to talk about gauge theory which is where a lot of physics for example can be found and it's kind of normally the 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 crowning aspect of any course on that covers connections and curvatures is you the goal is you kind of want to end up doing gauge theory because that's the this beautiful theory that encompasses everything so things like yang mills theory maxwell's equations the dirac monopole instantons these are just some things some words i've taken from the table of contents of this book by stephen bruce Sons. So if you're interested in any of these, definitely go check out the book. The book is, I mean, the one differential geometry book that I own because it's that good. You know, even I decided to buy a copy. It's really well written and very approachable. Something else I won't talk about that I'm very interested in, but I'm going to save for another video series later on, is higher analogs of connections and curvature. So these are things like um, if you study gerbs, which are kind of like, I mean, you can think of them as sheaves of groupoids, or you can think of them as kind of some iterated procedure of you kind of start with bundles, then instead of giving transition maps on intersections, you give a bundle on the intersection, and this gives you a gerb, and then you can find a two gerb and a three gerb, so on. And these things have higher analogs. So uh, on a gerb, for example, you have the connection, you have a curvature, but you also have something called a curving. And there's a beautiful story to do with Deline cohomology and these higher curvature connection curving things and bundle gerbs and characteristic classes. And it's beautiful and lovely, but I'm not going to talk about it at all. And finally, for this introduction video, kind of repeating myself here, is just I'm going to talk about these three examples. And each one kind of starts pretty simple, hopefully, and gets a bit more complicated towards the end. But then... Each example is independent, so kind of the difficulty curve or the technical detail curve of each example gets more and more, but at each new example it resets. So I'm going to split this up into individual videos for each example, and the point is they're independent. You don't need to have watched any of the others to understand it. The last thing I'll talk about in this introduction video is a little family tree, if you will, or like a hierarchy of the kinds of connections that we, we normally come across, some words that you might recognize. The most general kind of thing that I consider in these videos is the idea of an Erisman connection. And this is something you can define if you're studying smooth fiber bundles. And there's two children 
of the Arisman connection. In a sense, there's linear connections, or they're also called causal connections. And these are the things you want to study if you're looking at holomorphic vector bundles or smooth vector bundles. And a Another particular example of these that you might be familiar with if you've done a course on differential geometry are the Levi-Civita connections. And these are if you're studying Riemannian manifolds and you look at its tangent bundle, there's this connection you can put on it. And that's a specific example of a linear connection, which is a specific example of an Erisman connection. And the other direction you can go from Erisman connections is this kind of gauge theoretic way, which is looking at principal connections on principal bundles. Got a little arrow on the screen here. I work on the linear causal connection level of generality. So that's kind of where I've approached this talk from, and that's really where we mostly focus. When you hear about connections and curvature, normally you there's three-ish approaches that are kind of the standard ones to take. The first one is something called parallel transport, and this is kind of a, I mean, if you want to sum it up in one word that's probably mildly inaccurate, you would call it like a homotopical approach. It's to do with paths, and as the idea, as the name suggests, it's something, some kind of transport along paths. And the idea is, given a path in your base space, can this lift somehow to a path between the fibers? I'll actually talk about this as the second example for a little bit. We'll take a categorical viewpoint on what this means. Another approach is the idea of covariant derivatives, and this is kind of like a really differential geometry kind of approach. Uh, these are things, yeah, I mean, kind of a generalization of directional derivatives. You can think of them like this. This is something I, an approach I never really like thinking about because I find it very difficult to think about. Um, and then finally, almost, you have this kind of uh, horizontal subspace, horizontal vertical splitting of tangent vectors uh, idea, which is kind of a linear algebra idea. And there's a fourth way which really... I don't think I've ever seen connections and curvatures studied this way. This is kind of a backwards direction because normally you study connections and curvature, then you can learn about this thing called churn vial theory, which lets you do characteristic classes. But you can kind of start with characteristic classes and informally work your way back to what connections and curvature are. And this is what we were doing in the third example. The reason I work with connections and curvature is because I work with characteristic classes. So this is the approach. This is the way that I think about them. So that's it for the first video. The other three videos of the three examples will be in a playlist following this video. And if you have any questions, then feel free to comment or probably tweet at me or email me. I don't know, do something like that. I'd love to answer questions about stuff. So see you guys in the later videos.